Okie dokie, fast version of this problem. So we want to find the profit so then we can find where that profit is at a maximum. So we want to find profit by doing revenue minus cost. So the revenue is going to be the price T times the quantity 240 minus 0.57 T. That's the revenue minus the cost of variable cost is 100 times the quantity 240 minus 0.57 T uh, plus the fixed cost of 4,000. Okay, start doing some distribution here. 240 T minus 0.57 T squared minus, I'm gonna work the inside out a little bit, 240 times 100 is 240 with two more zeros, so 24,000 minus 0.57 times 100 is 57 T plus another 4,000. It's the worst plus sign I've ever seen. Okay, let's give that another go. Beautiful, okay. Um, so now we're distributing this negative inside the cost uh, expression here, but before we do that, let's rearrange some things. So 57 negative, all right. Profit is negative 0.57 T squared plus 20, oh my goodness, I can't talk, 240 T uh, minus a negative 57, so plus 57 T. And then we can go ahead and say 24 plus 4 is 28, so minus 28,000. Okay, we're almost there. Profit is equal to negative 0.57 T squared. 240 plus 57 is plus 297 T minus 28,000. Again, this is a quadratic uh, opening downward. We use the vertex for T, uh, or I guess the T value of the vertex or the X value of the vertex formula, negative B over 2A, in order to find the uh, ticket price for where we have a maximum here. So negative B would be a negative 297 found here. Um, and then the A value is negative 0.57, so 2 times negative 0.57. Calculate this, 297, 2.57, 297 divided by, I think I missed a negative, didn't I? Negative 2 times negative 0.57. And we get 260.5, and that's in dollars, 260.5, it's right here, and I've already shown the answer the entire time, but that's how we get there.